Hey what is up guys, this is Murder here and today I'm going to show you guys something really cool that I actually did for my channel and I actually haven't seen many people doing it on their channels but you guys might be curious on how to do it for yours if you are a YouTuber uh, and it's also just a really cool thing you can do for anything really uh, if you like run like a GTA 5 Twitter or you know you just like GTA 5 and you'd like it to I guess use it as like a banner or a logo on your YouTube channel or whatever you may want to use it for so pretty much what it is is you're going to be creating a custom GTA 5 like banner logo whatever it may be you're going to make it completely custom to what you actually did I came up with this idea just because I saw a bunch of really cool shots that I could take in GTA 5 on Xbox One of like sunsets and like that. So I came up with an idea where pretty much you just go to the Rockstar Social Club after you upload a photo of GTA 5. And once you go here, just go to your my like my photos after you've uploaded them and see these are some really, really cool photos that I've been taking over the course of time. See like that one's really cool. And uh, pretty much you just want to take a picture that you think you would like it fits best on your channel or you think would fit best on your channel. So um, I'm just going to do this one right here. This one's actually a really cool shot I got out of the Turismo R over a sunset. So uh, once this pulls up, what you want to do is you just want to save the image just like normal, like a normal image. So uh, once you save the image, uh, just pretty much save it to any location that you know how to get to, I guess. Like, um, don't save it to something that you don't know where you'd be getting it from, but, uh, in this, I guess in this tutorial, we're just gonna save it to our desktop. I can't type right now. Okay, wait. Oh, 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 okay. So that is gonna be our base picture right there. Now, um, I can, or I would definitely recommend using Photoshop just because GIMP, um, photos don't really retain their, I guess, resolution when you enlarge them like we're going to need to. Um, but for the banner, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and create a new file and you want to change it to 2560 as your width and as your height, you want to change it to 1440 just like that with a resolution of 72. Now, once that loads up, what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and if I can do it, nope, nope, is that going to let me do it? Nope, okay, I guess we're just going to have to sit here and let this load. But that what you want to do, actually, and I can do it from here. Sweet. Oh, what? What's going on? Okay, there we go, I guess. So, um, once you do that, you just want to find the photo. So, I saved it to my desktop, so I'm just going to go to my desktop, and it should be at the bottom here, tutorial, and you want to drag the picture onto here. Now, what I did, and what I do for all of my, I guess, I don't know what you'd really call them, all of my banners and logos and everything, whatever I do, I always have a template for it. Uh, it just really helps me when it comes to, like, actually making sure everything's in, like, the right spot and everything's visible everything that needs to be visible at least so what you, what you want to do is you want to go to and like I just download a random template like this one works I guess here let me just click that right now uh, put this template on there now okay doesn't need to be PNG okie dokie so see that this template right here fits it perfectly everything inside of this area this little rectangle that goes across the screen uh, will be perfect and it will fit perfectly on your channel like it does mine here just go to my channel see I kind of like that where I have like I actually went and took that picture in GTA 5 and I got that picture obviously of my character from GTA 5 and just put it on there and put a nice border on there and then I also added the rainbow to make it look better and then I you know added my name and everything like that so uh, what you want to do is you want to just take that off right now and you want to focus on enlarging this now I'm just gonna bring it up to like the biggest it can be at right now even though it really doesn't need to be See, it looks really blurry, but when you double click it, it'll kind of like fix the resolution, even though it does still look a little bit blurry. So now once we go back to here, as you can see, it just is in like this area. So everything out of this rectangle, it will not pick up. So that actually is really helpful for us because then what we can do is we can just kind of size it to where we're going to try to get the car in the shot. We're going to have to keep these sides all the way like that, which kind of stinks because it's going to look kind of stretched, but it still looks good. If you got the right shot so um, I'm gonna try to get the Sun in there and the car in there all in one shot hopefully it won't look too bad that isn't that bad I guess oh wait no no what's doing oh no okay oh no okay okay we're good see now let's say uh, I'd say move the car up just a little bit okay okay now what this should do is now see that we have there I'm just going to go ahead and I always have like, I guess, um, my name or whatever it may be, 
um, like this right here. It's saved as a PNG, so if I ever need to put it on something such as this, um, it'll fit perfectly. So let me just go ahead and size that. It's kind of invisible right now. Let's move. The, wait, let's move that up. Uh, wait, no, wrong thing. Wrong thing. I'm messing it up. Okay. Okay, now see, that's like that. It has a shadow and everything like that. Now, um, I'm not going to really show you guys how to do the borders and everything, because if you use Photoshop and you make thumbnails, uh, you probably already know that, and there's a lot of other videos uh, for you to figure that out if you really want to look that up. So, um, once we have that, we're just going to go ahead and take that off, and it's going to be like hovering above the car just nicely and prettily. prettily that's not a word, but whatever. Uh, and now what you want to do is you want to rasterize the, the layer of whatever, like, the picture you pulled off of GTA 5 that you took. I wouldn't recommend using other people's pictures just because it doesn't really make it your own. I mean, it's not going to really make it copyright, or it's not going to be copywritten or copyrighted, whatever you want to call it. It's just, um, I'd prefer to, you know, take my own pictures because it feels more personal. So what you want to do is once you have the picture, you want to, like, you know, basically click the picture and go to where it says images and go to adjustments and I do this for like all of my pictures for my thumbnails and everything I do uh, you want to go to hue and saturation and just bump the saturation up to whatever fits best now for this this is already a really bright photo so I'm probably just gonna, not going to do that much to it now what you want to do that this is actually going to make it look really nice is you want to go to brightness and contrast and now make bump the brightness up to whatever it looks like it would be best for see there it kind of makes it look lighter and it uh, really makes the chrome shine more of the sunlight and I think that looks a lot better instead of it kind of looked hazy before, but now it does not. So, uh, there we go. That looks really nice. Now, here, let's see. Um, I'm gonna, I can't remember where I put my GTA character at, actually. I think he's right here. Uh, do, 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 there we go. Is this him? Uh, okay, there we go. Now, as you can see there, um, basically what you want to do for that, I... Um, I'll, I, I don't know if I'll show you guys this in this video, but pretty much what I did to get this, to get my character on there is everybody should have, let's see, where is it? Everybody should have a mugshot photo in GTA 5, at least on the Xbox One version of their character like that. Now, pretty much what I did is I just went and cut them out, which is pretty simple. Even anybody that uses, like, GIMP or anything like that should still be able to do it. You just don't really want to get a shadow or anything like that in it because it won't, obviously... It won't fade into the background um, as it does in the actual picture. Uh, it would just pull off the picture. So um, once you pull off your character, uh, whatever photo you want it to be, you just want to go in and right click on them and go to blending options. And then I did this just to make it look better in the photo because he didn't really stand out that much. And you just want to change the uh, change the stroke. So let's see. See, like that's a stroke that looks pretty bad. I'd kind of make it thin, but still make it to where you can like it's still visible. So I guess that looks good right there. And uh, see, there you go, guys. Now, when you do this, see, it kind of fits perfectly. I mean, you're not going to be able to really see the car much, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that, actually. Oh, wait, no wrong thing. Okay. Actually, no, wait. Okay, so now I see. Let's go ahead and move this guy in front of the channel art and enable that. So we can see where he needs to go to look best. So let's put him, like, behind there. That looks pretty good actually like that now once we do that you don't really have the bottom borders on it just because it doesn't really look professional it looks like you uh, left in something that wasn't really supposed to be there but see as you can see he's in the middle I get or no he's like on the side and he looks pretty good so uh, that should fit perfectly like I said we're gonna go ahead and move this up just a little bit to actually show what is going on or what the photo is of so let's see here make sure let's see what fits so it's gonna be like kind of like this part of the car i guess um this kind of <laughs> every time i look at this it looks like a csi miami photo i don't know why but anyways what you want to do is you want to go in and save it uh i'd consider saving it as a jpeg just because there's more um it, it doesn't use RV, rgb formatting or rgb coloring as png does so let's see go to my folder i have too much stuff i always save it as graphics I'm just going to do a tutorial, banner, okie dokie, and then we go to here, and I'm just going to change it to my profile, or my uh, banner, so you guys can actually see it's just going to be temporary, uh, by the time this video is uploaded it'll probably be changed back, but uh, let's see here, it's going kind of slow right now, 
Uh, what the? You know, we're just gonna drag it. That's what we're gonna do. What is it doing? No, it's not what I wanted to do. Clip art. Murder. Graphics. And tutorial banner. Now, there's like a big white spot on it, but that doesn't really matter because they're not gonna see that in the actual banner. Uh, like my other photo, it has like a picture of a photo I used before that that I just did not decide to delete. So, uh, I don't worry about adjusting to crop unless like you actually need to. Um, and see, that's what it'll look like. It looks pretty sweet. I actually like it. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of like the red, but it's a pretty cool photo. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it, I guess, helped you guys if you guys use this for your channel. And I hope if, you, like, if you're curious about how I did mine, well, now you know. And I might do one about the logo, but the logo is pretty much the same thing. I just kind of uh, took a smaller portion of the picture that I used for the banner and just did the exact same thing, except with uh, MD instead of the whole murder thingy over here. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope you guys actually learned something from this tutorial. And I will talk to you guys later. I called you Gal, but uh, uh, yep, bye. Wouldn't it be nice living life like everything was a party? Only 18 years deep and now we're getting started. Finish line clear so we focused on the target. Wouldn't it be nice if we saturate the market? And wouldn't it be great if we could just simply rage? And never think about calm down or act your age. I say hey, hands up, the record plays. Wouldn't it be great if I could live on stage? Let me introduce you to the duo in a dream.